The Eels of Dandenong Creek was essentially an education film that we put together. It highlights a number of different elements. The amazing life of the short fin eels in Dandenong Creek, the pollution that's been affecting their life cycle, and the connection to country through the indigenous community as well too. So it brings together some really strong elements to um, showcase this species and to highlight essentially their plight uh, in the area. We knew we had to do more, we didn't know what to do. We knew we had to showcase the short fin deals. We had to showcase the consequences of pollution. Education is something that we strongly believe in. Our role is to try and encourage that, I guess, light bulb moment to occur, that you know there are things that are living there that, that should be cherished. Feedback's been very positive. So at the moment, we're sitting at about 36,000 views for the short film. What we're seeing though is, I guess, more of an interest in the creek, more of a connection occurring as well. What I've learned about sustainability and what the team's learned about sustainability is it's a collaboration. It's about presenting information in a way that, I guess, encourages thought, encourages new ideas to occur. Look, I, I think that the thing that motivates me is probably injustice. The idea that, you know, we're in 2022 and we're still fighting the same things. We're, we're still trying to improve the environment as much as we can. It is very much a team effort though. All I would do is I'd, I would like that message to be passed on, Look, give it a go. You can achieve amazing things when, when, when you all come together as well. The online awards were quite nerve wracking. Didn't quite know what to expect. Well, it was staggering and awe inspiring when we, when we actually won the award. So, you know, very thankful for it. We had no idea and we certainly didn't aim to win an award. That was never the intention. The intention was to try and just get our message out there. So in that sense, it was very humbling for us. For the Premier Sustainability Award, just apply, give it a go. You know, you've got nothing to lose. I think it's a fantastic opportunity, certainly from a community group perspective, to uh, put yourselves out there, give it a go. There's every chance that you know you, you will win an award. There are amazing projects out there that are happening right now. Maybe sustainability's changed because people realise that they can actually do something, that there are technologies that are out there, that there are solutions out there that they can pick up, that they can do not just at their household level, but you know, in a, in a wider space. It could be education, it could be installing you know, new things, new systems as well. I think that's probably the, the main thing that's changed is people have control over their own destiny if they want to do it, though, you know, the, the path's there for them to do it as well.